Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Steve, we got another uh, video coming at you. We're talking about people's helmets. We got tons and tons of these things coming in. So if you have a helmet that you want to share your photographs of, send it in to us. Steve is going to be talking about how you can improve your photo quality. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be talking to you about the pieces and all of that on the helmets so you can actually be sending in higher grade helmets and upgrade your equipment. So I'm the equipment yes. guy. He's the photo guy. Steve is an unbelievable photographer and uh thank you thank you i can't wait to hear what you have to say about these ones i have not seen any of these nope you have you've kind of curated this whole thing yep. um, but i'm going to give it everything a one to ten grade i score. like the i like the grade and if you want to see your picture on this show send them in to pics at greengridiron.com we will get to them eventually we get a lot so bear with us speaking of we're going back these photos from the next two episodes mm -hmm. are going to be some new, some going all the way back to March. Okay, so this first one is by Keeley, and it's only one picture, but I had to put it in there because I don't know much about that helmet on the left. Well, I got to say, so we got a, a, a Shut Air helmet, or maybe just an Air, this uh, Shut Bought Air way back in the day. I don't know if this is before oh. or after that took place. Uh, and then on the right, we got the Riddell Speed Flex which almost looks completely brand new. It doesn't really look like it's taken any hits yet. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of these old Timer helmets. Yeah. You've heard this before. I like the new stuff that's sexy and sleek and all of that. Uh, what we have over here, the, the face mask is a super pro style face mask, which fits just your generic, or I guess your, I don't know, it's not really a generic, but it's a, that generic shape. Um, but this is the RJOP DW face mask that's on here. Obviously, it's taken a lot of abuse. We, we're seeing a lot of metal, and not only that, it's rusted metal. You see a lot of uh, um, uh, dust that has collected. I'm imagining this thing has been sitting in a garage or in a shed or somewhere. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Photo-wise, it's a little bright, but not terrible. Get down a little lower. I just think it looks cool, but... Um, you made the show, so good job. What, what do you want to give this guy? Five even. That's a good starting, Five point good starting number. Uh, next up is Dario, and I like when people send in all angles, all of it. He sent in five. Check this set up. Well, this instantly has custom paint written all over it or custom something. I think it's some sort of a vinyl. For the most part, it's excellent. It looks like the front part he had a hard time with, but look at how good the rest of that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go with possibly a, a hydrographic. I've never seen this design before, so I'm curious what uh, this, this, this design is. Is this a custom thing? I don't know if this is something that Shut offers or not, or if this was done and custom made. Um, but yeah, it's either some kind of a vinyl it looks kind of thin the way it, that the, the kind of the wrinkles are in yeah. there and i don't know um so yeah so i'm not sure so it's this close to being super super awesome the front just bo like bugs me but it's a great job the top view that looks solid man um i am going to take off a little bit because of the wrinkles in yeah. the application of it you kind of have, have to, to but i you know f7 is a sec new sexy helmet that i like mm -hmm. so i'm gonna give this guy a 7.2 oh that's not bad I That's not bad. Not. All right. I know it's not. That's pretty good. Good job. Next up, Billy W. This dude's got some helmets, my friend. So this is a mix. And again, it's a mix. This is going to be uh, you know an average of the whole collection here. So we see some new and some old. We see some very old. We see some um, original or, or hard to get face masks on here. So I definitely like that. Let me go to this other one. Uh, yep. Yeah, we've got you know some very old masks that are basically from like the 50s even. Got some nose bars in here. Overall, I think this is a cool collection. Very cool. Uh, so, And a nice photo, like perfect square, nice with the brick in the back. Not not too bad, man. What would you do different? I, I would just have for, that- From a photo standpoint. I would have that whole like this thing. this is outdoors, right? It, it does look like it's outdoors because there's like a, even a light right there. So I yep. think he took that shelf out there and set it up. Next time, put it about four or five feet away from the wall. And then blur out the wall a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll, that'll reduce the shadows. And then the one thing that drives me absolutely bananas is that some of the cubbies have backs and some don't. I can't handle it. Well, see, that has nothing to do with the photo. 
But this is something, this is the same shelf. So basically, um, Billy, appreciate it. You've set this up yes. for the shot here, for the show, we can tell, because it looks like it's outside. Looks like it's the same shelf. So you've got, uh, what is this? Um, three, 12. Yeah, 12 helmets, so 24 helmets total. And you took them all off the shelf and put on the other 24. So I'm going to give major props just because you've got 24 helmets. It's I'm going to give this whole collection a 7.5. Excellent. I bet you he has more. Next up, Xavier. Now, this is interesting. This is interesting. I almost wasn't going to put this in because the photos are, are just odd. But it's cool. And the helmet just looks nice, and I like the little colored tabs. There were certain reasons why I put this in. So have fun. Well, from a f photography standpoint, I think it's fascinating that, I mean, any photographer, Steve, you've preached it all the time as the rule of thirds. This is more like the rule of sevenths. Yeah. Yeah, like this is interesting. He left a huge amount of it's, it's bottom. It's almost like it's a bookmark. Yeah, yeah. I like things wide. This is the exact opposite of that, but uh, it's kind of <laughs> cool. I mean, that's that. This is not. I mean, this is too wide for the cell phone. Yeah, this 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 is a taking, tall picture. Taking portrait to the extreme for sure. So anyway, what we got here is uh, this looks like a shut uh, XP helmet. I think it's a Shed XP helmet, and yeah. Another one out in the rain. People are listening, man. Everything looks better wet. And you know, I like how the there's one blue and one black decal on the visor that matches the decal on the side. Yes. You know, I grew up with sisters, and I used to, one of them, you know, my, my sister that was into fashion would always say, you can't mix black and blue. But I don't get it. I, I think those colors look great together. So do I. You tell us, do you like black mixed with blue? Uh, so from the helmet equipment standpoint, I'm going to give this guy a 5.5. Okay, not bad, not bad. We still haven't gone below the original five, so we're good. Check this dude out. These are five different helmets, and his name is Wim. He mm -hmm. has some pretty outstanding stuff, um, but I knew you'd appreciate that Lions one. It even looks like it has like fur or something. What do you think of these? I like some of them, and I I don't think that I can tell by the photos alone that we have here uh, whether or not I get what all of these are yeah. going after. Like the UCLA Frogman one, I think that's one of the best decal setups. Obviously, that's my favorite uh, helmet from 2018 yeah. that we did. The chrome looks pretty good. I don't know if he's doing it himself or he's having these done. Um, on that Frogman helmet... The chrome face mask looks, I think, looks great. The oh. Lions one, I think I need to see more photos of the Lions. I, I want to see front, back, sides, top. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm wondering if that's supposed to be a lion mane hydro dip on the face mask. Definitely getting points for, you know, thinking outside the box with the designs and trying to go, you know, do things that haven't been done before. And I think that that's great. Um, execution on some of them, I'm a little curious where they're going yeah. with what I'm seeing. I'm gonna give a, just a seven. Okay. So, yeah, because you want to see more. I would do. I, I do want to see more. All right. Next up is Nick. And oh, Nick. <laughs> Nick is getting Damn. his money's worth yeah. out of this helmet. So this is what appears to be, I think this is a Zenith face mask. The face mask started white and then was painted black. And then most of the, or a lot of the black has come off the mask. So I would say to Nick, hey, send us that mask and we'll get it looking brand new for you. Um, as far as the helmet goes, I'm just seeing a lot of, like, like I don't know. He almost like I would almost think he's in construction. He's just using this <laughs> a hard hat, like a hard hat. <laughs> I kind of love that beat up look, though. Uh, if there's, if it's one thing I like in a photo, Steve, it's a story. Yes, and I think this guy has a story, and I'm going to give it some points for that, even though that really doesn't have anything to do with the equipment. But I'm going to give this guy. You know, I mean, I'm grading this differently. Like, if this is a a chrome helmet that's been done as a collectible, it's getting a completely different grading scale mm -hmm. as something like this. I'm gonna give this guy a 6.5. It's a, you know, it's exactly what I would have said, man. Yeah. Yep, all right, same same page. Next up, Theodore. Well, we got, we got a lot of Zeniths this week, Steve. Yeah, what's up with that? You Looks to be a similar design. I can't remember the team, like one of the World League teams? I or? guess a hurricane that looks like a storm mm -hmm. with like a... a mm -hmm. I don't helmet know. looks helmet looks brand new, you know. He did he's done some stuff here for you, Steve. He's kind of picked like a what do you call that when you shoot? Dutch Dutch yep angle and he's it's on a nice nice wood box. It's nice and lit. It's everything. Near the stairs. Yeah, it's cool. Nice pictures. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get with the equipment wise though. Uh, for that helmet, I'm gonna go with uh, six point one. Okay. All right. Yeah. This I think it's clean. I like that setup. I love the color combo. Next up, I believe this is Curon. Curon. Uh, yep. Curon. Okay. He only sent one, but that's okay. Um, it's a split one, and it's him wearing them different. Mm. We haven't gotten one like this. The pictures are tough, but I know why because he had to hyper zoom in. It's obviously a play of the ducks. But what do, what do you think of this? Okay, so um, this is not the Oregon Ducks. No. Let's, let, let's be clear there. But the helmet and face mask color looks pretty good. Again, it's hard to tell. These are a little bit blurry because they're um, zoomed in. Um, and, I'll, and I'll tell you, this color is a lot more complicated to paint if you want to match the exact thing for Oregon as, as possible or, or get the exact look. And the reason for that is because multiple layers of paint. Yeah. Overall... I would almost argue with the yellow chin strap, the white buckles on the chin strap, uh, and obviously the green in the paint, the white decals on the Oakley visor. You're mixing that all together. I mean, I, I'm it's loving nice. all. I'm loving all that. Yeah, and it all works because it all is using the logo on the side of the duck to bring it all together. To bring it all together. So I'm going to give that guy an 8.1. Nice. Yeah. Well, well done. Next up, Valentin, and. Pictures are cool because you can tell, like, you know, he really tried to tell that story that we ask for. Um, I personally just love this setup. There's some German stuff going on Team there. Team Thunder. Um, yeah. So what do you think, man? Okay. So on the Rawlings, uh, the black Rawlings helmet, we have a Shut Super Pro Big Grill 3.0 face mask, which obviously I like. We got a bunch of award decals. On both of these, we've got a skull and crossbones and like a Mustang. We've got a tiny little American flag. Yeah, I saw that. Here. So that's it's from a mini helmet. Maybe. Um, and then we've got the custom face mask. Yeah, I love that. So that's that. not an out of the box face mask. So I'm wondering if that was done by Haas mask. We've got a Germany connection here, but it's red, white, and blue, baby. And you know, that's gonna get extra points anywhere. So for this guy, Steve, I'm gonna go with a 6.7. 6.7. I, I kind of really like that. I don't know, it's got that, like that 1960s, 1970s-esque mm -hmm. right. uh, inspiration from that. I think that's a fair score. Sure. Next up, Mark with a C. Um, Ooh, this yeah. is out of the gate. I'm liking this. So am I. And at first when I saw the side picture, I was like, eh. But the more I looked at it, I'm like, you know what? It's pretty, it's pretty good. NFL. If you're a fan of the NFL, you should be a fan of this helmet. Yeah. Um, nice paint job. Giants uh, blue. It does look like Giants blue. I don't know if this. So so, Riddell has the, all of the license. Has the only license to sell uh, NFL collectibles or, mm -hmm. or collectible helmets with any NFL markings on them. So this could be something that he made himself, but it also could be a helmet that uh, he bought from you know, uh, a team shop or something. Right. They had it there, maybe even Riddell.com. Uh, it's got the unbranded soft cup chin strap that would come with or does come with the NFL helmets from Riddell. But I, I think it's cool because it's unique, it's different. And the way that he took that picture where he's holding it kind of from the side, yeah. uh, you really see a lot of the sparkle and the flake. It does look like a giant's blue. Uh, I'm going to give it, Steve, a... 7.5. Not bad. Yep. Last up, Rafal? Raffle? Rafa? Eh, sure. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, I like his setup, though. Check this out, man. I'm Two normally... tone paint. It's got a fade. It looks like he probably did this himself. It um, reminds or had somebody do it. Reminds me, it's very Boston looking. It does have that uh, font, especially in the number, to have yeah. a Boston Boston esque font on there. I'm wondering if, I can't tell if it's a, it doesn't look like a decal where it says Duke, so I'm going to no. go out on a limb and say that, that it was painted it's on. It's like, I love it, but I kind of hate it. It's a, you know, it's a, so it's a DNA <laughs> helmet and, you know, chin strap delete, that's fine. Yeah. Um, we've got, so we've got the fade here and here's mm -hmm. the thing. The, the, you can see the specs. Right? right, in the fade, yep. and that happens when the paint gun or the paint nozzle 
allows the paint to come out in too big a chunk. So if this yeah. was going to be, if you were going to be painting a solid helmet, that's fine. You're never going to see them. But to do a fade like this, unless you want this look, and some people do, if you want to really smooth, like not be able to see any of the specs, you got to get a nozzle on your paint gun that's super, 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 super tight. It's yes. almost like airbrush. Yeah. yeah. Um, and which makes it a lot more difficult to paint. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go with uh, 7.1. Not bad. You actually made me like that, even though at first, like, I didn't want to like it. Keep your photos coming. Picks at GreenGridIron.com. Yep. yep. And one of the things that Steve and I talk about is, or is doing some shows like this based off of a theme. So while we want you to tell us what themes do you think that we should do on the show. It could be anything from, I don't know, prom night to uh, fast food restaurants yep. to... You know, outdoors, indoors, uh, underwater. I don't care what it is. Uh, little brother, little sister, who knows? <laughs> so um, put some ideas below. What kind of themes do you want to see? So we want to challenge you, give you maybe like two weeks mm -hmm. to go out. We'll announce a theme, and then you can go out and do it just for that theme. And I think we'll have some pretty good prizes Oh yeah, for people that, who do that kind of stuff. Good idea. I like your thinking. Yeah, so listen. Like, subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.